Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing absolute value functions. I'm going to graph each equation. So if I was given this equation, y equals absolute value of x plus 2. All right? Well, first thing I want to do is find my vertex. Again, the vertex is just 0, 2, and we can see that by k value being 2, but in the 0 inside, that's not really written in, in the absolute value. Now, we could show that here, x minus 0, but Eventually, you're going to get better at it, but you won't need to do that. So, we have these are the same things, right? Our h value is 0, so it's 0 here, and our k value is positive 2. So, our vertex is just 0, column 2. So, let's go plot that 0 on the x up 2, right here. Boom, we have 0, column 2. Okay? In front of our absolute value, it's positive. All right, so our a value is a positive 1, all right? There's nothing there. Positive 1, so that's a, a slope of up 1 over 1, right? So we have a slope of positive 1, and it's a positive value, so it's a V-shape, up 1 over 1, up 1, okay, point that 1 over 1, okay, and we mirror that on the left, up 1 over 1, and up 1 over 1. Check the dots. And now we have, oops, we have our little graph right there, our final answer. So quick recap, we're given y equals the absolute value of x plus 2, okay? Well, we have to find the vertex first, so we have a it like this, our vertex is 0, 2. Now we put that right there. Our a value is a positive 1, so we have a v-shape, and our slope is 1. So we went up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1 to the right. Mirror that on the left, just by what up 1 to the left one instead. Then, connect the dots, made my v-graph, and we have our final answer. 